Hey, I'm Chloe from Tara AI. Today, I'll be taking you through Tara's workflow to show you just how simple it can be for teams to get shipped done. Let's jump right in. Tara is a simple yet powerful, lightning fast project management software for teams that starts at home. Once you've started sprinting, the homepage helps you track your individual progress. View your assigned tasks for the week, your sprint stats, and your personal and assigned pull requests through the GitSync. Sprints are a set time frame in which a team aims to complete all planned tasks. They're the fastest way to get aligned on weekly or bi-weekly progress as a team. Selecting a sprint's header will open the sprint details panel. Here, you'll be able to write out goals, sort tasks in the sprint by status, and view overload alerts based on your average task completion from previous sprints. Most importantly, the Sprint Details panel is where you can adjust your sprint settings. Set a specific day and time for your sprints to automatically end on each week, the duration they will run for, and where incomplete tasks will land afterwards. Now, you can easily start planning your sprints by dragging and dropping tasks in from the work drawer. Located to the left of your sprints, the work drawer holds all of your unplanned work. Access tasks grouped under requirements, issues from GitHub, and imported data from Trello and Asana. Tasks that don't belong to a project yet can be created at the top and are stored in the backlog. The Define page is where you can outline requirements and add details to tasks. The Requirements Editor works a lot like a document. Store information on projects, collaborate with teammates, and create tasks. If you work in an engineering team, this would be where your user stories are stored. If your organization consists of multiple teams or pods, they'll each have their own space to run sprints and plan requirements. To access a specific requirement and its tasks on the Sprint page, assign it to one or more teams via the Details panel. Requirements are made up of tasks that serve as to-do lists for your projects. Easily create tasks inside existing requirements or in the backlog at the top of the work drawer. Tasks created in the backlog can be assigned to a requirement or sprint at any time. On the Sprint page, a selected task will show up in the Task Details panel. You can include descriptions, create links, or add comments to keep your team in the loop. Assign tasks for ownership, adjust effort to measure team performance, and update your task statuses to show progress. Use labels to organize your tasks by priority, type, and status using hashtags. Easily locate specific tasks and tags using the search bar. The progress page is where you'll track your team's progress in real time. Sprint progress is designed for daily stand-ups. Simply share your screen during your meetings. Engineering managers can view commit progress, as well as open, blocked, and merged pull requests. This helps unblock or assign tasks to your engineering team. You can also compare forecasted task efforts to real-time ongoing efforts with the progress bars. When a sprint is completed, the progress page displays a summary of completed efforts and pull requests to indicate your team's progress. To get the most out of your sprint insights, engineers must link their tasks to related code. Each task is assigned to a unique task ID, which can be added to a code's branch name, PR title, or commit message to create a link. This will only work if you've connected your workspace to GitHub or GitLab, which we will be covering in the next section. Tasks connected to PRs will automatically update status to done once the PR has been closed. Linking code also gives you the ability to automatically track your team's pull requests and commits in Tara. 
Activate an even more efficient workflow by enabling our official integrations with GitHub, GitLab, and Slack, or create your own using our API. Our GitHub integration gives your team a better way to track and understand engineering performance. Syncing GitHub to your Tara workspace links your issues to tasks for better development visibility. By doing so, you'll be able to see commit counts, pull request statuses, and check-ins on the progress page. To connect to GitHub, locate the Integrations tab at the top of your workspace. Find GitHub, press Connect, and follow the steps to link your account. Connecting GitLab allows you to follow merge requests, branches, and commits connected to tasks your team is working on without needing to shift platforms. Find GitLab further down the integrations page. Just like before, go ahead and press the related connect button and follow the instructions to sync your data. The Slack integration offers direct communication with members of your team. Connecting means that you can receive updates on sprint insights, mentions, new requirements, and task details through Slack. Press the connect button for Slack, give Tara permission to access your account, and start chatting with your team immediately. The Tara API is a RESTful interface which gives you access to specific data in the system. Currently, the API allows you to retrieve and update requirements, as well as retrieve, update, and create tasks. Generate a key from the API section, share the key with your teammates, and execute the available functions for up to 60 minutes at a time. Now, before getting started on Tara, it's important to decide the right workspace plan for your organization. Our free plan allows unlimited users, requirements, and backlog tasks in one workspace. We also offer premium and co-pilot plans with upgrades such as support for more teams, multi-sprint planning, the ability to sync more Git repositories, automations, and much more. Make sure to visit tara.ai forward slash pricing for more details on what's included in each plan. Thanks for watching our product walkthrough. Now that we've covered the basics, head on over to tara.ai and try it out for yourself.